Ape, and I'm back with some more gaming videos on the craziest, most exciting, fruitiest gaming channel of all time, the Annoying Orange Gaming Channel, and I'm already starting to play. Oh my god, this girl is crazy. I'm playing some Juju Running Man Challenge today. You can download this on the App Store. I think it's in the top 10. I'm pretty positive it's in the top 10. Well, regardless, uh, oh man, I died again. Well, regardless, uh, I don't know, this girl is, ah, uh, man. Uh. Okay, so when you first start playing uh, Juju Challenge, uh, this game could be so frustrating. But uh, I kind of got the hang of it, uh, like a little bit, like sort of near the end. I don't know, you'll see. I don't know, just keep watching. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It's it's like a platformer where, are you doing it? I mean, ah, uh, man. <laughs> That's gonna happen a lot, by the way. But it's sort of like one of those platformers where, ah, man. Okay, well, you, you know it's going to happen a lot. Like, she's going to die now again. This is a woman that has more infinite lives than probably anyone else. See, she is the most resilient human being ever imaginable. I love her. I'm going to call her Bubblegum Girl. Just for this special. Because, I mean, she's got pink hair. She's really bubbly and fun looking. And, I mean, why not? There needs to be a, a superhero girl character. And I'm going to call her Bubble Girl Girl. <laughs> Buggle, bubble gum girl. Oh man. BGG. Bubble gum girl. Bubble gum girl. Bubble gum girl. I do want to cre create a character named Bubble gum girl. And she can have her all her, like, her own rogue gallery like Batman. Uh, you know, like Bubble gum girl. And she'll, uh, she'll fight all these crazy nasty people like, um, Pepperoni Face and Justin Beaver and, um, Lady Gaga. That's what I call Lady Gaga. <laughs> these are all these are all gonna be Bubblegum Girls villains. Uh, Justin Bieber is is um uh, a clone of Justin Bieber, and he basically uh he well he had it, all his hair done um basically uh to look like Jay Z when he had hair, and um then he then he dyed it yellow. It's like the, the grand supervillain of all time, Justin Bieber. And he lives on a river because he built a dam out of wood. Because he's Justin Bieber. <laughs> and then Bubblegum Girl would have to fight Pizza Face. Oh man, Pizza Face would be the worst villain of all time. He would have pepperonis for his eyeballs. And he would probably have like some string cheese or for his hair or something. And then uh, for his mouth, he would just uh, have, well, he'd have a regular mouth, but instead of like, you know, regular teeth, he would have anchovy teeth, pepperoni eyeballs, and anchovy teeth, it's, it's, it's pepperoni face, watch out, bubblegum girl, he's gonna come for you, he's gonna kill you, run, run, as fast as you can, you can't catch me, I'm the bubblegum girl, man, <laughs> okay, so slightly, you can, you can have her be whatever you want. So yeah, I'm just running along, running along the path, trying not to fall off. This is really, I mean, like if, if, if you have nothing to do and like you're waiting on your uh, your car to get serviced or I don't know if some of you probably don't even have cars or you're waiting in the doctor's office or, or you're waiting outside the principal's office for something you did, uh, not naming any names, uh, not saying that I do anything bad like that, you know, or, or just, uh, you know, just for writing on the desk when you weren't supposed to or playing on video games on your laptop in class when you were, I, look, these are all isolated events. I'm not pointing any fingers. I'm not saying I did. You know, just if, if you're one of those, one of those people, uh, or fruit, just, uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Just open up this game and you'll have a blast. Ah, unless you die like I just did. Darn it to heck. <laughs> Bubblegum girl, I have faith in you, alright? We gotta get to the end so we can beat Pepperoni Face. He's the grand arch enemy of all time. Oh man, so if you guys had to create a character that Bubblegum Girl had to face and fight, other than Pepperoni Face, I feel like he's kind of be like the Joker of, of Bubblegum Girl world. But uh, if you had to create a villain to Bubblegum Girl, who would it be? Put him in the comments below. It can be as creative and as crazy as you want him to be. Villains are kind of cool. Oh man, that was like an Indiana Jones action there. The, the whole floor just dropped out from underneath me. But yeah, anyway, guys, uh, yeah, it can be whatever you want to be. I mean, Bubblegum Girl, let's just say, uh, besides jumping like really far and jumping across blocks, I mean, look, she's doing that pretty well right now, I gotta say. She's a jumper for sure. But uh, also, I think she should be able to like have elasticity power. She can like stretch herself, sort of like Mr. Fantastic or, you know, Miss Incredible and the Incredibles. Like, I mean, she, think about it. She's kind of like, she's sort of made of bubblegum, 
But she probably got bit by like a, a radioactive bubblegum piece and, and, and then after that, she turned into bubblegum girl. So she's sort of like bubblegum, but not really. Like, I don't want you to think she's like Princess Bubblegum from Adventureland. She's not, because she's bubblegum girl. So she's definitely a human being, or she used to be a human being, but then one day she got bit by a radioactive piece of bubblegum and voila! Out of the ground and out of the nothingness came Bubblegum Girl. Sworn hero to all and sworn to fight crime and evil wherever it comes up in the world. Whether that be a pizzeria with pepperoni face or any other place that you yourself have come up with. Think of a villain. Think of a crazy butt villain that you can just toss at her. Oh man, the Pinguini. But you know, it'd be like Linguini uh, except the Penguin. <laughs> Actually, keep an eye out. We might have a villain coming up uh, named Pinguini. We might have already have had a villain named Pinguini. It's all there. Just look at it. Anyway, guys. Um. So, yeah. Bubblegum Girl is doing all right. I'm running along and I gotta get to the end. Except for that. Oh, well. I don't know. I, I just like the idea of Bubblegum Girl having, like, a whole roster of villains that she has to fight. Whoa, did you see that? She like wiggled her butt out of there. I, I don't know how that happened, but um, congrats. I pat myself in the back for that. It's all, it's all Bubblegum Girls. You know, she, she takes all the credit and she deserves all the credit. I mean, look at her. She is a jumping fool. It's like one of those Mexican jumping beans, which don't actually jump. So, uh, you know, if you're looking for one and you're like, oh, well, there's some jumping Mexican beans. They're, they're fake. They don't really jump, people, all right? I got one the other week and I was like, jump, darn you, jump. I said jump for your love. It didn't jump for anything though. It just it just sat there and so I don't know. I was kinda getting hungry, so after that I just, you know, smushed it up, made some refried beans and had some tacos. It was great. Anyway guys, uh Oh no! Every time she does that, it's like she commits suicide. I know she's not, because it's bubblegum girl and she's great, but come on! This game is fun, you know, like I said, if you like have some time to kill, I mean it's like a time killer. Oh, dude, I'm getting the crystals. One point, two point. Darn it! I'm gonna get a high score in here, I, I swear. I'm gonna get even higher than I was. Although, oh, no! Man! I was so close! But not really. I don't even think there's an end point to this game. It's just collect the diamonds, collect the gold shards, or whatever they are called. The dark crystal meets the gold crystal! Ah! Do we really need to be reminded that it's Black Friday? All this holiday season, everybody just wants to shop, and it's all about presents and toys and everything. Why can't we just, like, be there for each other for once? I don't know. It's just, like, all about marketing and shopping and me, 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 me. I want this and I want that, and you don't, I don't care about you and what you want. Man, people need to just chillax. Thanksgiving is coming up, man. Be thankful for your family and your friends and that you got your health and that all the loved ones around you love you. That's what I that's what I would advertise if I was one of these big corporations. Not none of this Black Friday stuff. It just sounds like the impending doom of like the apocalypse when you say Black Friday. It sounds like some horror movie directed by George Romero or, you know, Mario Bava. I don't know. It's just Black Friday? Whew. Why can't it be like Sunny Friday or like Yellow Friday? Or even Green Friday. Green Friday sounds cool. Like, you know, like, oh, the, the planet Earth. Green Friday. But Black Friday? That just sounds like a bottomless pit of doom that you're walking into. No one wants to go shopping on those days because everyone's pushing and shoving and they just me, 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 me. I want, what, 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 what? Who goes on that day? I think it's a mom and daughter bonding day. I, I, I think that's why Black Friday exists. They, they made it so do mothers and daughters could bond and also so mothers could teach their daughters, listen, I'll do anything for half off you know, Gucci purse, and listen, this is how you shove people out of the way to really get what you want in life. So, you know, that, that, looking at a plus side, uh, there you go. Mother, daughter, bonding. <laughs> ah, oh man, I keep dying. But Bubblegum Girl, you're holding in there. All right, guys, and then remember, also, guys, write in the comments below, besides Pizza Face, I'm pretty sure Pizza Face would be a pretty dynamite villain. Um, but yeah, what other super villains would you create that inhabit Bubblegum Girl's world? I feel like Bubblegum Girl probably, you know, has a teenage, you know, she's a teenager and she probably has teenage problems. She lives with her parents and she can't help that she turns into Bubblegum Girl. She remember she was bitten by a radioactive piece of bubblegum. She just committed suicide again. But remember, so yeah, 
So I think, uh, you know, she acts out and her parents don't understand, you know, and, but they're, they're there. But instead of a bat cave, so she has her own, like, room. But underneath her room, ooh, yeah. Maybe she's got, like, a secret lair, like, underneath her bed or, like, if she opens up a dresser. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Oh, man, Bubblegum Girl, you're giving me so many ideas. Guys, I need your help, Bubblegum Girl. Bubblegum Girl. Anyway, uh, this is a pretty fun game. I hope you liked seeing me play it. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Annoying Orange Gaming. And come up with these ideas. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, remember in life, always dare to be different. But more importantly than that, dare to be stupid. Later, gamers.